Hi, what's up, chicas? How's everyone doing? Welcome back. I hope everyone is doing super, super well today. Welcome to another Halloween design. So I have two more to upload, you guys. I have this one and another one. So since next week is already Halloween, I'm going to be uploading them in this week. So today I have a client edition, as you guys can see here, and it is my sister. And she asked for me to do her nails. We did a soak off, as you guys can see. That's why her, her nails and her fingers are a little white here because of all the acetone because we did a soak off so after we were done with that i'm gonna begin with the actual design well not the design but the actual um process of the acrylic nails and you guys can see here that i went ahead and pushed back her cuticles and now i'm gonna go ahead and remove all that shiny or actually just removing the shiny um layer on your natural nails because that will cause lifting so you want to make sure you remove all of that I go ahead and remove just that shiny layer, you guys. I'm not doing anything else to it. I am not um, debulking. I'm not doing nothing else. That is all I'm doing, okay? So the RPMs to my drill are at about 4 RPMs. Um, you want to make sure you use them at your lowest speed because that will cause damage to the natural nail. Now I'm going to be taking my cuticle bit from Not Polish and I'm going to go ahead and remove um, all that excess cuticle that was left behind or anything like that that might have been left behind. I'm going to go ahead and remove that with this cuticle bit. And I do have a coupon code with Not Polish. I will have that linked in the description box below. Okay, baby girls. So now after that, I'm going to go ahead and glue on her tips. Um, the tips that I'm using are the 2XL square tips. They are available on my online store. I will have the link to that as well on the description box below. So I'm going to go ahead and glue them. I'm using my Big Bondini glue to glue them. I've been using this glue lately to glue on the tips. And honestly, it works perfect, you guys. So I'm making sure that the nail fits sidewall to sidewall. If the tip fits way too small, you should go in with the bigger size. That way you can cut it to size and it'll be easier to glue. Otherwise, if you glue on the smaller size, um, your nail can totally pop right off. So just make sure you do that, you guys, and go with the bigger size. So now I'm going to go ahead and measure. And she did want a size 4, so I did bring out my little guide here that I made a long time ago, you guys. Um, and so I went ahead and measured, and I did leave like a four and a half just because right after we're done with the acrylic process and then we go in with filing, we do tend to shape the free edge quite a lot and for them to be very nice and straight, very nice and crisp. And um, it, it, it was going to end up like at a three. So I was like, you know what? I'm just going to leave it at a four and a half. Um, that way I could go ahead and shape the free edge um, without me having to worry about it being too short. You know what I mean? So yeah, and now I'm going to go ahead and smooth the little part where you glue on your nail tip to your natural nail. And I like to do that because sometimes when you use either darker shades, the two little corners tend to tend to stick out and it'll show up when you file and I hate that you guys that would always happen to me when I was a beginner and I noticed that ever since I started to do this just making the false nail tip flushed onto your natural nail it was such a dream come true you guys like that didn't happen no more everything was all good <laughs> and um I really like to do this you guys I don't know it's so satisfying to me seeing those two like super flush um so yeah <laughs> so now i'm gonna be taking my favorite primer i want to mention this is my favorite primer you guys hands down honestly one of the best out there i've never had any problem lifting when i do use it on my sister on my mom on friends um literally i haven't seen any lifting with it so I just stick to it. This is my favorite. By far, it's my favorite. So, yeah. Now, I'm going to be taking my nude. I believe this one was Peach Buns. And I did have it available. I think that was, like, last year. I don't have it no more. I'm so sorry. It was too hard to get all the pigments together 
to make it and then also making it exactly the same you guys sometimes it was way too pink sometimes it was way too pale some you know it was super hard for me to keep it up you know so I just decided to let it go but this is like a favorite you guys and I'm literally running low she loves this nude she's been using it for the past three sets that I've done with her and she just wants this one and I said girl like you gotta choose another nude because this one's literally like it's gone like it's literally gone maybe it's good for another set maybe but honestly you guys I highly doubt it like it's that low and it was one of my favorites you guys but yeah anyway so I'm gonna be using my number 14 brush I believe and I'm going to start by applying the acrylic on the apex area, bringing down the product, patting it down, making it go like side to side. And then I bring it down towards the free edge, um, wiping down my side walls and as well like around the cuticle if the, if the acrylic was touching the skin. So that's pretty much what I'm going to be doing you guys. The monomer that I'm using is the non polished monomer with the crystal clear acrylic. So. I'm going to let you guys sit back and relax and watch the acrylic process and I'll be back later on in the video.
Okay, baby girls, so now for filing, you guys know, per usual, using my 8080 nail grid file to kind of shape the nails, give it a little more straight shape, removing any acrylic that might have run down the skin, and just doing that, you guys. You guys know the routine that I do take when I do file. And then I'm also going to be taking my 5-in-1 fine drill bit from Not Polish, and this is just going to help me seal those cuticles and debulk the nails later on of course going in with my 150 150 nail grid file um to further buff and then after that i'm gonna go ahead and buff with my regular um orange buffers um but before i do that you guys i really want to mention that my rpms here are at about 14 13 14 15 rpms no higher than that because this drill bit tends to burn um and so it's happened to me before i've mentioned that before so please be careful with it if you are using it at higher RPMs.
So for the actual design, she told me she really wanted a bloody design. And I said, you want a bloody design? She says, yes, I do. So I'm like, okay, <laughs> let's do it. It is Halloween, so let's do it. And she, she's like me, you guys. She is in love with Michael Myers. We freaking love Michael Myers movies. We just love him. We, we love him, you guys. Um, so she said she wanted something with blood and Michael Myers. And I said, okay, I do have some water decals that we can use. I could try and draw him, but guys, it was super late. It was already like 10 and um, she had to go to work the next day. I had to wake up early to take my son to school the next day. And you know, we had, we had to wake up early the next day. So I said, okay, I could draw him, but I'm not going to do that because it is going to take me a while. So let's do the water decals. She said, okay, perfect. Let's do that. I brought them out. She loved them. And, um, that was the whole plan, you guys. So I said, you sure you don't want scream nails? Because, you know, everybody's been asking for scream nails. Um, honestly, it goes with this whole vibe that you're going with on your nails she said no i do not want scream i've never even watched his movies i said okay let's fine let's just do michael myers from the moment she said michael myers you guys i just said like no this is not gonna like it's not gonna go together you know like it's not gonna look good but i'm like okay i'm gonna do it so she can see what i mean so she wanted some frenchies with like blood drips so i went ahead and did the little frenchies using a black um gel polish and then i'm going going in with the red just so that i could do the red um what's it called the red bloody drips um so i went ahead and cured the friend the black french first and then i'm gonna be doing the the little outline with the red went ahead and cured it and then i went ahead and did the the blood drip So she told me she wanted the blood splatter here on this nail. She didn't want any crystals. She doesn't really go for crystals or anything like that. So she did want that mm, like bloody splatter design on this nail. And I went ahead and did it. Um, I had to despelucar here, this brush. <laughs> I had to mess up the brush so that the bristles would be like separated um and then by this time you guys we had already done the michael myers and she hated it i said i told you so girl so she's like okay fine let's go with the screen face so here i am doing her little screen face you're gonna see later on um how the michael myers turned out towards the end of the video i didn't like it you guys you guys tell me you guys be the judge here because honestly like i said girl that does not go with this design like it just it's not it doesn't look good so she said okay fine so i went ahead and did the little scream face i'm using dotting tools to create it guys i didn't use any brushes or anything like that i went ahead and cured the white and then i'm gonna be making his little eyes his little nose and his little mouth and then i went ahead and cured under the lamp So now we're going to be top coating everything. Um, I wanted to show her the difference, you know, so I went ahead and top coated it so she could see the other hand versus this one. <laughs> and I'm using two guys shiny top coat. I do have a coupon code with them, so I will have everything linked in the description box below um, as well as their coupon code. So yeah, you guys, I'm top coating everything. She does not like matte nails. So I said, these will look better matte, but she didn't want them matte and not even the screen face. I'm like, I could do the rest shiny and just the screen face matte. She said, nope, I want it all shiny. So al cliente lo que pida, this is what she wanted. So this is what I did. And, um, I'm going to go ahead and cure under the lamp for 60 seconds. And then here comes 
Michael Myers, you guys. <laughs> oh my God. You guys tell me what you guys think. Like, I didn't like it, you guys. I did not like it. I think I should have freehand him. Um, I think I should have done him, you know, freehanding him and stuff. It, it would have looked it would have looked way better. Um, but honestly, like I mentioned, we didn't have time. It was already super late. I did a soak off. We we're platicando. We we're eating, you know, like this design literally took me like four hours to do, you guys. I'm not even kidding. She got here to my house like at well, she got here like at 6 30. We we started like at seven. Well, it took me like three hours because honestly, we even sat down to eat and things like that. So yeah, it took me a while. So I went ahead and removed them and did the little screen face. And this is the end result, you guys. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will see you on the next and last Halloween design, you guys. Oh my God, I'm so sad. But yeah, <laughs> that's gonna be the end of it. But yeah, you guys, thank you so much for being here. I will see you on the next one. Stay safe, God bless, and bye-bye.